I like to serve my French toast, or it's also called eggy bread with a salted caramel. This is so delicious. It's one of those sometime dishes you do, like I said, on a Sunday. So 120 grams of butter with 250 grams of brown sugar, and I have measured this out, so that can go in there. And I'm using some cooking cream here, so about 180 millilitres of the cream here, which is just a little over half of this carton. Fabulous. And now this goes onto the heat, and we're going to cook this on a medium heat until it starts to bubble away and cook together. I'll stir it occasionally, and you'll see this transforms into the most silky smooth caramel. It's so yummy. It's not only great with this French toast, but it's so good over ice cream too. All right, we'll keep an eye on that, and let's get on with our toast. You can use any old bread for this, or use some brioche. Brioche is crossed between bread and a croissant, and I think it works really nicely with this. It's really light and fluffy, and you'll see the crumb inside. That is just a delicious alternative to the classic bread. So I'm going to cut it into about two to three centimetre pieces there. And let's do three. Feeling very hungry today. We'll put that to the side. And we need to make our eggy component to this. So let's get some eggs, about four eggs. I remember making this as a kid. I would love to make it because, again, it was really easy to do. And it was just so nice to see a piece of leftover bread transform into this really sweet, delicious result for brekkie. So four eggs in they go. And just with a whisk, break up those yolks and give it a whisk. And I've got quite a shallow bowl here, so it's easy for me to put the bread in. And now I need some more cream, and I'm using thickened cream for this because I want that thickness to it so it sticks onto the bread. So we want about half of this cream in, and then we're just gonna mix it with our eggs. Now we need a little bit of sweetness here, but I'm not gonna overdo the sweetness because my brioche toast is slightly sweet and we've got a caramel sauce on the boil. So I'm going to use demerara sugar because I really like the crunch of it. So just a small amount in there, a few tablespoons. And I'm also adding some cinnamon and I'm going to leave a little bit for the garnish later on. And just a touch of vanilla paste. You could also use some fresh vanilla there. One last whisk and this delicious concoction is ready to go. Great. See how thick that is? That's what we're looking for. Beautiful. Now we need to put our toast into our egg mixture and cream mixture here. Now before I get that into the pan we need a little bit more butter. You can use some oil and just a thin layer of butter here because my pan is non-stick, so we don't need too much there. And now we'll place one piece, just drain off excess liquid there, and then in it goes. Now you want this on a medium heat. If it's too hot, then it'll caramelise too fast. So let's put a few more pieces in on all sides. Now while that's cooking, let's go over here and have a look at this caramel. It smells so good. It's starting to boil now. Let's give it a stir. And when it starts to thicken, you can take it off the heat. So it's only gonna take a few more minutes. When it comes off the heat, I'm gonna add some salt because salt and caramel, they love each other. Smells delicious in here. It smells like breakfast time. And have a look at this eggy bread or French toast. It's golden brown on each side. And the caramel sauce is silky smooth. You can allow this to cool a little bit. You can even reduce it if you want it to be thicker, but I think that saucy consistency is just perfect. And I've just realised, I was so excited about the caramel, I forgot the salt, so it's time to add it. You only need a small amount, about half a teaspoon in there, and just mix it through so it dissolves. And what I would do if I was serving this to the whole family, put that in the middle of the table and people can put as much or as little as they like. And the way I like to present this is just pile up the three pieces. And now we can add some of this delicious sauce. Oh, that is good. 
and we should add a little bit of fruit. So I've got some bananas here, which we can add on the top. And some berries. I'm sticking to the darker berries here, some blackberries. And we can add them. Look how plump they are. They look fantastic. And some blueberries. Why not? This is one of those breakfasts to impress. And just one more thing, some cottage cheese. I love the lightness of the cottage cheese and it'll cut through the richness of that caramel. So just a nice dollop of that on top. It will dribble down, but that's what I'm looking for. Voila, oh, magnificent French toast with salted caramel. That is so easy to make. You don't need to go to a cafe anymore. Make it at home.